Hi, I'm Ira Landis. I'm a licensed psychoanalyst, and my practice is on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. To paraphrase a Marine Corps slogan, I'm looking for a few men and women who basically share a state of mind that's comparable to mine in terms of their understanding of the human condition and the way the human mind works. In my work, although I walk around the whole story and I'm more than willing to look at issues and conflicts from many points of view, absolutely the epicenter of my work is focusing on this one human affect humiliation. What I try to do in my office is create what I call a humiliation-free zone in which the relationship between me and the person with whom I'm working is, becomes utterly free of humiliation. The best way that I know of, my bias takes me to, giving a, to, to, to helping clients work their way out of what I call the humiliation loop by watching the dynamic of it that obtains between me and the client. If humiliation is the essential currency of exchange, trust is uh, virtually excluded from the relationship. Tr trust cannot obtain while humiliation is playing. Humiliation um, trumps trust. The only way trust can be um, advanced and developed is with love. There's a novelist by the name of Jonathan Franzen. A fear of humiliation and a craving for humiliation are closely linked. Psychologists know this. Russian novelists know this. And it's my hope, my expectation, that the, the clients with whom I'll, I'm working are going to get to know that as well. The purpose of therapy is to gain understanding. The magic word, if there is one, becomes understanding. That's what we're there for, to understand.